Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our Buttercash.com special series on upgrading from Windows XP to Windows 7. In this segment, we're to the point where we're ready to install Windows 7. We've done everything we need to do in preparation. We've backed up. We've used Easy Transfer to back up settings and files. And now we're ready to begin. So what you need to do is put your Windows 7 disk in the drive. The, disk, the DVD should spin up all by itself. But if for some reason it doesn't, there are instructions in the show notes to show you how to do it manually. So we'll put this DVD in the drive. Here it comes up. Now you see here there's an option to check compatibility online. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to assume that you check the compatibility of your PC before you went out and purchased the Windows 7 disk. So we're going to click Install Now. Now Setup's copying temporary files. Setup starting. Now, we're at a screen where it's asking us if we want to go online and get the latest updates for installation, which is recommended, or not. Our recommendation is that you do this step and go online and get the latest updates. For the purpose of this tutorial, however, we're going to bypass that to save time. Down here, there's also an option if you want to help make Windows installation better. I'm all for that, so I'll click there. So we're going to go on. Now here's your license agreement. You should always read it. Then click here to accept. Click next. Now you really can't upgrade from Windows XP to Windows 7. So we're going to do the custom installation. And now it shows a drive. We have to pick the partition where we want to put Windows 7. At this point we're going to pause this tutorial and we'll conclude it in the next segment. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all of the parts.